Hi, everybody. Um, today's craft is going to be um, made out of mesh. It's called um, there. It's called a deco mesh flower, and you can hang it on your wall. You can use it to hang on your door. Um, the project where I got this from, the girl had a whole bunch of different ones and different colors hanging on one wall, and it really looks so pretty. And I thought since spring is coming, we need something cheerful and colorful. Um, so we're going to begin. Okay, so first we're going to start, I put um, a circle styrofoam in your bag. And what I did was I covered the back of it so that um, you can, this is the part you're gonna hang on the wall. And I just thought it's nice to have some backing on it, just, you know, so it looks nicer. You don't have to, it, I didn't have to do it, but I just thought it would be nicer. Okay, and with this project, um, you really do need a glue gun only because uh, the metal does not stick well with just regular glue and you really need it to stick fast. So I hope you can borrow a glue gun or have one, uh, but that's your, your best tool to use for this. So what we're gonna do first is there is a styrofoam ball that I put in your bag and I didn't cut down the ball because on this one that I made, I actually cut this styrofoam in half and it uh, looked too small against the mesh around it. So what I did was I took um, the other half that I cut off and I put it on top of it to make it higher. So if you want to, you can glue this to the middle like so to make it high. Uh, but I think what I'm gonna do, and I saved this to do just so you can see, is I have an X-Acto knife and I'm just gonna cut like a little piece of this off to make it flat. So if you just keep kind of you know, cutting through, it should um, come off. Just be careful you don't cut your hand. There we go. So see, at least it's flat and I, I just feel like if it's, you know, it'll adhere better if it's flat. So that's the first thing we're going to do. And this I'm just going to Throw away. All right, so I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm going to glue, put a lot of glue on, and I'm just going to center this and just hold it for a little bit, you know, because even though it's a hot glue gun, you still kind of have to hold it. I hope that's centered. It looks pretty centered. Okay, yeah, it's good. All right, now this is all this is, is you're gonna take, I gave you blues and I gave you like a rainbow color, whatever pattern you wanna do, it's up to you in color wise. So I think I'm gonna start with the, um, I think I'm going to do uh, one one and one and maybe put the rainbow in the middle, but you can start on the inside if you feel more comfortable or on the outside, whichever you want to do. So I'm going to start on the inside and all you are going to do is lay your mesh out flat like this and you're going to take one corner and tuck it in and the other corner and tuck it in like so. And you're just gonna gather your mesh like this. So it looks like a little 
ribbon. And these actually are um, paper clips that I cut only for the reason that when I looked into getting the um, pins, the floral pins, they were very big and I just thought that ain't gonna work. So um, one of the girls here and myself cut paper clips with um, the wire and it works beautifully. So you're gonna take this as a pin and you're just gonna wrap this like so. So you see, whoops. So it looks like this. Can you see that there? And what you're gonna do is you are gonna start, just pick any place to start. Start to push the pin into the styrofoam. And then what I do, if you can see this, I take my glue and I put it, I'm gonna push it, I'm gonna put the glue right underneath the pin, the paper clip. And you should have a piece of popsicle or something so you don't get burned. And just push it down and let the glue dry. And ta-da, there's your first leaf, okay? And that's all you do all the way around the um, styrofoam circle until you have it all full. And what's nice about this is you can actually move the mesh because it has some wire in it. So if you wanted to stand it up, you could stand it up or you can bend it down. Uh, so let's do another one. Uh, let's try blue, we'll take some blue. I'm just gonna fold it under like that. The other corner, fold that under, gather it, grab it, take the pin, push the pin through to the middle. I'm gonna take my styrofoam and I'm gonna put it like close to the, the one I already put in. I'm gonna take my glue gun, put some glue underneath. Take this, push down on my pen. And here's my leaf. So that's all you have to do is just continue to fold the mesh, gather it, take a pen, put it in the middle of the pen, Pull it together like so. Oops, popped out. Put it stick, push it, and push it down.
You could even make a bunny if you wanted to with, you know, the ears and this is its nose and you could put eyes and a little mouth here. I would make the nose maybe smaller, but um, that's something you could do with Easter coming up. I thought about that while I was uh, making this. Okay, so I'm gonna take a blue. And they're, they're, the mesh is not all cut the same. It's because of course you can't keep this um, perfect because it does fray and it does move. So um, you might have smaller uh, leaves then, you know, like this is smaller than this one, which makes a flower isn't perfect. So, uh, you know, you don't want to make a perfect flower. It's supposed to look like, um, although I don't know, do pansies have perfect, they always look like they have perfect petals in their face. They look like little faces. Uh, Okay, so you're just going to continue to do that. And I'm going to continue to do mine here, and then I'll check back with you. Okay. So you gather. You're going to do the inside the same way you do the outside. Now you can see where you kind of need. So I'm going to go to the next spot here. Oops, it came out. I pushed it in, but it came out. Okay, take some glue, put it there to hold my pen down. I have one color, maybe I'll save that. Um, okay. And come in here. Push it. And there's a little spot here. You can get the mesh at the dollar store. That's where I got it. And the blue, I actually had some at home roll. I still have some left over from my daughter's baby shower. I bought this whole roll of it for $5. It was so cheap. So um, you can find these in all different colors, uh, especially around, you know, the holidays they have for spring, they have different pastel colors. In the fall, they have uh, browns and oranges. Um, but it's fun, you know, and you can make wreaths. They have wreath rings you can make with this. 
And it's basically the same thing that we're doing now. So, um, okay. So this is going to be all you have to do is continue to fill in the styrofoam with um, your pins and the mesh. And you can make it, like I said, as full as you want. Oh, the pin came up. There we go. 